Let's talk about BenQ Display Calibration, how this relates to Calibrite, a newly formed color management company, and what does this mean for you? This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. I'd like to share with you some quick background so that you understand where Calibrite comes from and how this all relates to X-Rite and also BenQ displays in general. Starting out with X-Rite, announcing a strategy change to focus on print and product packaging. And with this, they're transitioning their entire photo and video product portfolio over to Calibrite, a newly formed color management company and a clever name that is short for Calibration Done Right. Going forward, if you currently have an X-Rite device right now, Calibrite will be handling the warranty and support for the X-Rite devices, so you're going to be taken care of and you're in good hands. If you currently own a BenQ display and you have an X-Rite color calibration device, that X-Rite color calibration device will continue to work and calibrate your BenQ display in the exact same way how it have functioned before without any issues whatsoever. Depending on the BenQ display line that you have and also the color calibration device that you have, there may be some slight software changes that is going to come from this transition between X-Rite and Calibrite. But otherwise, your experience is going to be exactly the same and the process that you would follow will be exactly identical to each other. And most importantly, Calibrite is going to contain to use X-Rite core technology on the back end. So on the software and on the device itself, you're always going to see Powered by X-Rite. And what that really means is that you're always going to get great accurate colors from these Calibrite devices. So the one thing I want to show you here is that you may be looking at, for instance, an X-Rite i1 Display Plus device, which is the one I have here. And this is the Calibrite Color Checker Display Plus. So there is a naming change and there is a logo change on the device itself. But these two devices, even though the logos on the side may be different, they are exactly identical and will work with the programs in exactly the same way how they have been functioned before. So if you currently already have an i1 device from X-Rite, you're going to be okay there. If you go out today and you want to get one of the best color calibration device out there, Calibrite Color Checker products is going to be really awesome. So with this transition, there are currently four color calibration devices that is making the transition and is part of the X-Rite photo and video product portfolio. That is three colorimeters, which is the i1 Display Studio, i1 Display Pro, and i1 Display Pro Plus. These are going to change in name, so the i1 name is going to change to Color Checker, making it easier for us to understand, and it's, you know, Color Checker naming, right? We're calibrating display, we're color checking, so it is the perfect naming. So these three are color perimeter devices, meaning that they will only calibrate displays and also projectors. And the last device here is a color spectrophotometer. This is the i1 Studio, or the rename Color Checker Studio. With Color Checker Studio, this will also do print profiling in addition to display and projector calibration. To find the appropriate software to use with these devices to calibrate the display, we have to look at BenQ display in two different groups. The first group is the hardware calibration capable display, for example, BenQ SW display line. In this display, there is an adjustable 3D lookup table that when used with the appropriate software, you can go in and run a true hardware calibration on this display, meaning that there are no color manipulations from the video card whatsoever, and all the color adjustment is done at the panel itself. The software that you would use for this with all the SW line display is Palette Master Element. With some exception that the newer SW display, the one with the C in the name, has a 3D lookup table that's open to third-party software such as Calman. So you can certainly use other software too, but the easiest and the fastest calibration software is still going to be Palette Master Element and they will only work with BenQ SW Display. One thing to know is that only three out of four Calibrite devices are compatible with Palette Master Element. That is the Color Checker Display Pro, Color Checker Display Plus, and Color Checker Display Studio. Another thing to know is that the current version of Palette Master Element does not list Calibrite devices yet. So when you go in and start the calibration, if you have a Calibrite device, what you would simply do is choose the X-Rite device equivalent because as I mentioned before, these devices are exactly the same. 
So if you have the Color Checker Display Pro, you would choose i1 Display Pro. Color Checker Display Plus, you would choose i1 Display Plus. And if you have the Color Checker Studio, you would choose i1 Studio. From there, you can start the calibration process and you should be able to calibrate your display without any issues whatsoever. Now we're going to shift gear from the SW line and look at all the other BenQ displays lineup. The one that I'm highlighting here is going to be the PD line because this is designed for pro designers, uh, for content creators, YouTubers, light video editors. So these are going to be really great displays for that. But this guy that I'm about to share with you will also apply to any other BenQ display in the lineup too because all of the other displays are software calibration only. And with that, you're looking at two different software solutions from Calibrite. So before you have used a software solution from Xbrite, either the Xbrite i1 Profiler or i1 Studio, now you're just going to be using Color Checker Profiler or Color Checker Studio from Xbrite. So this is where you would have to look at the device that you have because the device that you have will tell you which software you can use from Calibrite. If you have the Color Checker Studio or the Color Checker Display, you'll be using the Color Checker Studio software from Calibrite to run a calibration on your display. If you have the Color Checker Display Pro or the Color Checker Display Plus, you'll be using the Color Checker profiler from Calibrite to run a display calibration. But otherwise, you're going to be able to continue to use and calibrate these devices with your display without any issues. One more thing that I like to add as well is that if you have an Xbrite device, they will continue to work with Calibrite software going forward. And like I said, Calibrite is going to offer full support for your Xbrite devices, the one that I've covered in this video. One last note I want to mention, if you currently own an Xbrite i1 Professional Color Spectrophotometer, that would be the i1 Pro, i1 Pro 2, i1 Pro 3, or the i1 Pro 3 Plus, you would still continue to get your product support and warranty support from Xrite directly. The software that you would be using for software calibration for a display would be i1 Profiler. And if you use Palette Master Element software for BenQ, you would just simply choose the device from the drop down list. These devices are still maintained under Xrite branding portfolio. So for support and for warranty, you will be contacting Xrite directly for these devices. So I hope that this was able to answer some of the questions that you may have about how you would go in and calibrate your display with Calibrite devices, or if you currently have Xrite devices, and hopefully this clarifies a lot of things up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe and hit on the bell if you're new, and in art we trust.